Welcome back, folks. So today we are going to revise some few concepts of trigonometry. And I would like you to have a pen and a paper and a calculator with you so that you can practice with me along this session. Let's recap on the special angles. Whenever we are given this type of a triangle, this angle inside the 45 plus 45 will be 90 degrees. So the sum of all these angles will give us 180 degrees. But the sum of these two angles, 45 plus 45, they must give us 90 degrees. The side opposite to 45 is 1. And the side opposite to 90 degrees is square root of 2. The side opposite to 45 is 1. There is 45 here, even if I did not write it. If we grab one example, you can see here that we have the cos of 45. Remember that the cos is given by adjacent over hypotenuse according to its definition. The adjacent here is 1, and the hypotenuse is 0, 2. That is why we have 0, 2 here. Let's look at the second diagram here. The sum of these angles must give us 1 degrees, because the sum of all angles inside a triangle must be 1 degrees. But these two angles here, 60 plus 30, they must, give us, they must give us 90 degrees because we say 60 and 30 are complementary angles. And the side opposite to 90 degrees is 2, and the side opposite to 30 is 1. The side opposite to 60 degrees is always the root of the angle. Let's take example. Here we have the cos of 300. The answer here is supposed to be half, not the square root of 3 over 2. So I made this small typing error when I was preparing my notes. Uh, please forgive me for that. So the cos of 300 is equal to half. Why am I saying so? Because 300 can be expressed as the cos of 360 minus 60. And 360 minus 60 is in the fourth quadrant. And in the fourth quadrant, cos is always positive. Then we have cos of 60 degrees. And the cos of 60 degrees is the same as half. Thank you for watching. And let's meet again on the next session.